Right click on the Windows Start icon, then click on Run. Then we're going to type in ncpa.cpl, click on Enter. I'm using the Ethernet cable, but for you it will say Wi-Fi. Right click on it, and then head over to Properties. And then for you, you're going to have a sharing tab right here, but for me it doesn't have it because I'm using the Ethernet cable. But once you're on the sharing tab, you want to check these two things which will appear on screen right now, and then click on OK. Okay, so now if you want to share your folder or your drive, if you want to share your drive, head over to File Explorer, click on this PC, then right click on it, click on Properties, and then head over to Sharing. But for this example, I'm going to be using the folder. So I'm going to right click on the folder, Properties, click on Sharing, and then click on Advanced Sharing. Then you want to tick Share this folder, click on Permissions, and then you can add permissions right here. And then you can share the folder. Next, we need to right click on the Windows Start icon, then head over to Run, then we're going to type in services.msc, click on Enter. Once we're on it, we're going to click on any service, then we're going to type on S on our keyboard, which will then bring us down, and we're going to look for SSDP Discovery. We're going to right click on it, head over to Properties, and then make the startup type automatic and click on OK. Now we're going to scroll down until we find UPnP Device Host, do the same thing. Right click, Properties, make the startup type automatic and click on OK. The reason why I'm not doing it is because it already works for me, so I don't need to do it, but you do it. Next, we're going to click on F on our keyboard, which will take us down to these two function services. We're going to right click on it, click on properties, and then make them both automatic as well. Once you do that, you also want to start them both. And make sure that on all the services, you click on start, so it's running. After you do all of this, restart your computer and the problem will be fixed.